All right, welcome in everyone. Glad to have you here with us this evening. We got a great, great round or, or great evening of action here in store for y'all tonight. Survival of the fittest lobby. And man, we got some quality teams in this one. Let's go ahead and have a look at our list real quick of the teams coming into this one. Team 3, ICU Gaming. Team 4, Extreme Slayers. Team 5, Super Lazy Reflex. Team 6, Lotus Esports. Team 7, Taco Lovers. Team 8, Nemesis. Team 9, Control. Team 10, F29 Reborn. Team 11, Straight Out of Nepal. Team 12, KR Esports. Team 13, Rude Dudes. Team 14, Inferno Esports. Team 15, The Panthers. Team 16, Dark Esports. Team 17, GR Esports. And Team 18, Golden Eagles NA. Getting straight into this, guys. We had some interesting, interesting nights of action leading up to this. Last night, we actually had one of the best rounds I've ever seen here from a team in the Panthers who dropped 34 overall in a match and just absolute insanity for them. All right, let's go ahead and see. Plain Path is coming in from the southwest, going up straight up to the north. And let's see where these teams are landing. We got Dark Esports out here landing next to NS. And this is Nemesis over here. I'm trying to see if anyone dropped Pachinki. It does look like Taco Lovers landed out there. Over in South Georgia Pool, we do have Extreme Slayers and Control right next to one another. Those are... The main hot areas right now, actually, Taco Lovers has someone right on top of them here. Lotus Esports out here with them. So we are going to be moving back and forth between these two. All right, Ander gets a knock there on Doodle Bob. Good knock. Gonna get the thirst too right afterwards. All right, going back down here to the south real quick. Dark Esports in a mean fight with Nemesis. That's two members of Dark Esports down out here. Who's still left? It's dark over here. This man, last one standing, 0-2. And that is it. Nemesis will end up taking out Dark Esports down there in Primorsk. Taco Lovers, Lotus Esports next to one another. Still out here. Taco Lovers did end up losing Doodle Bob earlier. We saw it. We synced it. All right, so hasn't been too much going on just yet. Let's go peek over here at um, South Hospital area. Extreme Slayers and Control are out here next to one another. Not had they, they have not started to engage one another yet, though. Remix away from the rest of the team out here. And so we do got Fatty, Duck, JPK, and Pika. 
close by, but not really looking to engage them right there. You see both teams are just kind of focused on looting up. Fetty coming in Friday, staying low outside of this building. Thursday and Sauce staying back. You see Lotus Esports moving in that direction to engage. Fishy just took a lot of damage. Friday able to catch Fetty. Friday with these ambush tactics. Thursday takes down Fishy in here. Taco Lovers take down two in a row. This is a good way to start things for them. Just peeking over at the map. Oh, we actually do have some action going on to the south. The Panthers, the one who dropped 34 limbs in last night's final lobby to skyrocket themselves into the qualifiers here to get them into this lobby. They are next to KR Esports, who were also in that lobby with them. And I think KR Esports actually did end up with a few more points than them, if I'm not mistaken. All right, so we're watching this right now. These teams are right across the way from, another, uh, from each other. Blinky looking to take shots, but... The Panthers, I mean, they were they were putting a lot of damage out last night, taking on fights left and right. But I mentioned it when they were when they were going off, it was a desperation mode thing. They knew they were kind of on that line of maybe not qualifying or at least not qualifying to this top lobby. And they really, really showed out that fifth and final lobby last night. All right, we'll come back to that for now. We're going back over to Pachinki with Lotus and Taco Lovers. F29 Reborn is on the outside looking in. Straight on a Paul on Rude Dudes. Oh, and then there's some action going on. Extreme Slayers just got hit hard by F29. Poppy Sour and Remix both down. Robert GG and Lex uh, Legend, excuse me. Just going to go ahead and get out of the area. Oh, wow. I thought that was going to be a big fight there, but Extreme Slayers knows when to back off. Rude Dudes and Straight on a Paul. This rivalry has been uh, back and forth. Love to see that both these teams are in this one as well. Serena Paul does end up taking out one of those members of Rude Dudes there. Rude Dudes is only a three-man, so yeah, Titan and Manny just had to clear out. All right, back to Pachinks. Oh, Extreme Slayers looking to get into a compound. They're right over here next to Super Lazy Reflex. Koi and Kindness sending shots. Back, here to, back out here to Pachinks. Taco Lovers and Lotus getting ready to finish up their fight here. Lotus did not back off this. They are definitely sticking around. They think they can win it, although Gary is going to back out of here. Fall back to get some cover from his teammates there. Ander got a little bit of damage on Thursday. Oh, pre-firing that Uzi. Nice shots. Able to get the knock and thirst there. It's a 2v2 fight. Although, as I say that, Ander goes down. Gera, last one from Lotus. He is pushing this, playing this aggressively, and that is it. Taco Lovers will end up taking out Lotus Esports to take Pachinki. Nice fight. All right, we got KR Esports and 
uh, the Panthers. Panthers have one of their members down. Asta is down. Mambe was low too. Poppy Triste is down as well now. So Melatonina and Illusion doing their best to stop this push from KR Esports. Here comes Blinky across the road right now, sending shots through the window. Here comes the nade following it up. Illusion tries to get a quick turnaround, try, tries to get a quick counter. Oh, Illusion hit some shots there, but could not finish it off. Mambe finishes them off, or gets the knock on them at least. Melatonina now going to move upstairs, try to get ready to take on this three-man pushing them. Excuse me, four-man. Mambe is still standing. And this is just chaotic right now, guys. Melatonina just scrambling, trying to hold off this inevitable push. Just get a knock on one is low. Got a knock on two. Could not do much more than that, though. With an Uzi, it just doesn't have a big enough uh, magazine. Good try there. Panthers, they're going to get taken out early in this one. The third team overall taken out. Looking over here at Control, not too far away from ICU. They want to take some shots. So JPK is going to fall back right now. Ooh, Rude Dudes over on the other side. Get a knock on Wancho? Wait a minute. That was over here. Yes, they must have just had a nice angle. So we do have Extreme Slayers still in the distance near Super Laser Reflex. They're looking in that direction. The next zone is going to determine a few things. If it goes to the mainland, then we're going to have KR Esports scrambling to start moving. And they have both of these bridges. Well, they got teams at both of them that they're going to have to deal with. Over here, F29 is looking over at Super Laser Reflex right now. Good to see all you guys in chat tonight. Hope everybody's doing fantastic. Evil, Bath. Red Eyes, what's going on, Red Eyes? Thomas, for those of y'all don't know, me and Red Eyes will be covering the last few days of this coverage here, starting Wednesday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Going to have some epic, epic action brought to you. Couldn't think of a better caster to have on board with me. Hope you guys are ready for that. Definitely going to be some awesome, awesome coverage there. Some awesome commentary with the combo of us. All right, Robert moving in. INF pushing this compound. Oh, this is going to get crazy. Gold on Inferno, or Goddled, excuse me. Minato over here staying back, trying to heal up after taking a big amount of damage. Oh my goodness, Deep gets taken out over there. Shills and Minato here trying to get a foothold, and they do get a knock in Thirst. Minato takes out one of those F29 members. Actually, two of them went down. Minato just took a lot of damage from that nade. Chills here, staying on this edge, just trying to not be too obvious with the peakage. Goddled is down. King's the last one here from F29 Reborn. Goddled is finished off there. SLR and Extreme Slayers are, are fighting it out. It looks like King did get forced back a little bit. Thank you so much for the sub, the ways. Welcome to the channel. All of you folks, if you're new in here, welcome. Do me a favor, make sure you hit that like button on the video if you've not already. 
Absolutely appreciate you for that. And of course, appreciate your viewership. All right. Um, over here, straight out of Paul and ICU are on a collision course. You see Zuko right over there next to, or right over there is down a little bit. It was some of these straight out of Paul members that put the damage on them, I believe. Actually, could have been GRE Sports over here, too. You see, they're pushing up. Oh, Frankie, good shots, gets the knock, but then immediately gets lit up by control in the distance. Pika will get the quick knock in Thursday. That was just a crazy combo. It was like dominoes falling one after the other going down. Control, the rest of them moving up to that hill. ICU holding on to the combine that they were in. And straight up, Paul does look like they're going to be able to get back up to full strength. Over here, KR Esports and Nemesis. Very close to one another. Nemesis holding on to that little compound here on the riverside. KR Esports splitting up a bit. The rest of these members are going north. And they're looking on the outskirts of Pachinki. I think they may have been trying to take shots at one of these teams moving along. Maybe it was uh, Nemesis over here. Yeah, yep, you see Fate is looking in that direction. King trying to get shots up there on control. Nemesis does get a knock on one of the KRE Sports members. That's that fight we were looking out there towards the, the west, far west. The next zone did just shift to the north. It's going to force all of these teams to start making moves. Actually, no, these guys are just outside. Excuse me. Well, they are going to have to move in, though. GRE Sports, the only team in this area that does have a hold on zone, and they're all of a sudden in a decent spot to gatekeep ICU if they wanted to. Nemesis and KR, they get another knock over there. You see Nemesis have... Great angles on this KRE Sports group, and I think that is those two members down. Yeah, KR, the rest of them, the last two remaining members had to jet to the north to get out of that. The last of the taco lovers are here, and it looks like Ked is pushing this, trying to get a, a squad wipe, take or at least take out this last member. Let's see if that hits. Nope. Ked, Ked strong arm in those nades. INF in control. Minato still standing. We saw INF push that compound. They've done a great job of staying up. And I'm surprised that Rana or, or I was going to say, I'm surprised neither one of those members are able to get an angle from behind. All right, back over here, KR Esports and NS. Mambay, oh, got hit hard, but does not go down. Wish gets the knock on JSVN. Fate is down. Berlin, last one standing, and that is it. KR Esports will end up winning that fight out here with Nemesis. They were having a good fight right on the edge out here. And yes, that team does come out on top. Back over here, GR Esports has ICU right in front of them. At least Nate is. Oh, but as we go over there, Tornado gets the knock on Zuko. Is Wancho down here too? No, he's low, but should be able to get Zuko picked up. Wancho gets hit hard there. Koi coming out from the side. Oh, Wancho was already down. Matter of fact, Koi will come in and thirst him. Though straight into Paul, doing a great job of gatekeeping him.
Your mate over here doesn't have any throwables, still sticking right next to GR Esports. Over here, straight on a pole, taking shots towards SLR, it looks like. You see, they have this whole area smoked out with INF behind them, potentially having a view of them soon once that smoke does clear. Uh, actually, they do have a little bit of a divot here to get some, some hard cover with. Eight teams left, 20 individual players remaining. Oh, we were looking at Nate a second ago. He just struck and did end up getting a knock on that GRE Sports member. Hold on, guys. I'm... I'm all backwards here. I missed it. Nate did get the squad wipe on those two. Nice job, Nate. Ah, oh, terrible angle by me. All right, Nate moving up, trying to find some cover, getting fired on by SLR and does get his vehicle taken out. Shills and then moving up. Inferno Esports just trying to YOLO into a safe area in the zone. Minato is going to be able to make it in this house. SLR was not able to take out that vehicle, but now Minato's got a full squad of super lazy reflex members getting ready to push this building. It's just Minato here. You know what? Oh, they're taking shots out there towards uh, Rude Dudes. Koi end up taking out Minato. Good nade. We got Golden Eagles um, engaging straight out of Nepal over here. Oh, good shots there. Straight out of Paul, making Ked regret that push there. Got his vehicle absolutely lit up, but he is still alive. And that did open the door for Dooku, Duchu to come in and get some great shots from this flank. King is the last one from straight out of Paul. Cannot do much to help his team out. And I think Dooku, Duchu will be able to get there to get the res off on his teammate. Kindness on straight on a pole. We have King and Rana right in the area near Super Laser Reflex. And that's dangerous right there. Rana accidentally wrecked his vehicle on that rock and gets taken down. Straight on a pole is still alive. You see King here snaking it out, just staying low. Oh, gets it hard. Whoa, Schwan blew up the vehicle. I think there was a nade that was involved in that. This is your top four, folks. Top four right now. Let's see who's going to make it to top three. SLR and Golden Eagles NA getting ready to engage each other over here. Ked was trying to do something to stop Koi. Could not do it, though. I mean, I got to give this player props for, for dodging that many vehicles. He did a great job. All right, the, uh, the S12 through the smoke will end up taking out Dooku out there. And we have a few solos now. KR Esports did just get taken out by Golden Eagles. Your top three is this. Team 18, Golden Eagles NA. Team 13, Rude Dudes. And Team 5, Super Laser Reflex. Roll, Roll Kiss is in a 1v2 situation. Manny is staying low. Did not try to push that. He's going to, he's trying to survive. Oh my goodness, that nade. White Elegy just took out Roll, uh, Roll Kiss. And so it's going to be Rude Dudes against Super Lazy Reflex to decide this one. 1v3 situation. And there we go. Super Lazy Reflex will clutch the win here in round one. Dropping a total of 12 eliminations on their way to that chicken dinner. Nice job. And then Rude Dudes didn't drop any... Didn't drop any eliminations at all, but they did get themselves in second place. That is definitely... Uh, a pretty good performance still, even without taking anyone out. And then Golden Eagles NA will end up taking third place with a total of seven eliminations. Let's scroll through, show our results. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, here are your stars of the match. Looking at this one, we do have Minato of Inferno Esports coming in with five defeats to get that going loud award. 
We've got Wolf OP from Straight Outta Paul getting that best companion with two revives, and Kindness from Super Lazy Reflex will get that final elimination for the win. All right, a great, great way to start out this survival of the fittest lobby, guys. We see some community teams coming out here, making their presence felt in that top three, that or the top five situation. I think we had four out of five of those teams were from the community. You know what, it might have been the top four. Because yeah, KR Esports was in there. So I love to see that the, these community teams are coming out. Make Like I said, they are making their mark here. Really, really showing these teams that they need to be respected. So yeah, guys. Uh, SLR in the end though does come out on top. They're able to use their tactics. Obviously, they're a pretty solid team there. And we saw it at the end. They had those three players uh, able to just lock it down, take out those solos. So very, very nice first round in the books for them. We're going to go ahead and get set up for the next round now, guys. Match two on Miramar starts in about 10 minutes from now. So stick around, enjoy the replays from the last one, and we'll see you here soon for the start of that one, okay?
Okay, welcome back. Welcome back, guys. Here we go. Plane is in the sky for match two on this one. All right, so let's have a look at our plane path real quick. You see it is coming from the north side right now. Similar plane path to what we saw that last round, actually, surprisingly enough. All right, so let's have a look and see where teams are going. We got a lot of teams heading in for the Hacienda San Martin area, but some may be going right past it. But let's go check out ICU. Mm. I don't know what that was. That was a little nice little render error. All right, Extreme Slayers and Super Lazy Reflex flying in right next to one another, both looking for the same vehicle, I believe, or the same potential vehicle spawn. All right, a control. JPK gets a knock to start things out for them. Let's go check that out. They're out here. JPK gets a knock and thirst on Ked of Golden Eagles NA. And this is Chumacera, where we have this fight going on. We got ICU and Taco Lovers in a fight right now as well. We're going to come back to that as these teams have given each other a little space. This is a good old Hacienda fight. Nate goes down. Good shots from Thursday. And Sauce already got taken out for Taco Lovers. That is not what they wanted to see here to start this one out. All right, KRE Sports and the Panthers in a fight right now, too. They were fighting last round. KRE Sports are actually the ones who squad wiped them. So Panthers may get a chance for some redemption here, a little revenge. As of right now here in Hacienda, Taco Lovers look like they are in trouble Friday and Thursday. Or Thursday and Friday, I should say, the last two. All right, we're going to come back here, guys. Let's go out to Crater Fields first, where we do have Strader Nepal and Nemesis next to each other. These guys landed way far away from the rest of their teams. All right, we're going to come back to that as well. I do want to see if the Panthers are able to get some revenge. Oh, Illusion already left. You know what? They didn't land together. Nope, none of them landed together. And so that's always going to that's always going to make things difficult. Extreme Slayers are in a fight right now with INF. All right, we're going to finish this fight real quick. Let's go see how Taco Lovers play this. Thursday is down. Straight on Nepal over here. Just had one of their members taken down. Who was it I was looking for? It was Extreme Slayers. That's who it was. So Poppy Sour did end up getting hit hard here for Extreme Slayers, but I don't think they were in this area. Let's see. Oh, over here, Legend or Leg Legno, Leg X No does take out Relax as he tries to roll up on him. Good defense of his little compound there. Love to see that. All right, what else are we missing? Straight on a pole and NS, Berlin, and crew able to take down some of those members. We saw Spec down there earlier in that 1v1 with another straight on a pole member. And you see Spec is fine. He actually, yeah, they got, they took out two of those members. So, was that WDNN and Wolf OP both taken out for straight on a pole here early on? And that first zone is over to the east side you see these teams are starting to move in that direction slowly over here we have rude dudes and 
Golden Eagles NA near each other. Golden Eagles NA just, uh, oh, they wiped out their vehicle and that opens the door for Eagle who was just watching them. And that could not have been worse timing for them. That could not have been poor timing. Well, at least Eagle doesn't have a vehicle. That lone member may still be able to get out of there. Oh no, there's actually two members here now. Rana did get over here. Look at the rest of the Rude Dudes, though. And they're going to try to take, in my opinion, the worst vehicle in the game to get out of here. Although, I guess that one bus is pretty bad, too. That's also on Miramar. But I, I hate driving this thing so much. Oh, there's a buggy waiting for him. That's a blessing in disguise. All right. Oh, not quite in disguise, is it? All right, so Rude Dude's not able to finish off those other members of Golden Eagles NA. We do have control not too far away out here. I don't think they're in striking distance just yet, though. Over here, ICU and Taco Lovers Friday, the last one from this team, is getting pushed. Oh, we got some good damage on Wancho, but goes down right afterwards. I see you. Everybody is going to get together and just light up the crates. Oh, my goodness. Even more shots. All right. Moving along here. Rude dudes out here not far away from the Panthers. I know the Panthers uh, are trying to make some big moves here after that disappointing first round. Only two of these members in the area. Poppy Tree stay not quite near them, but you see they're all are they are all pretty well looted. Up here to the northeast, F29 Reborn and Extreme Slayers. Pretty close to one another, although no shots have been traded between those two yet, as far as I can see. All right, next zone is about to close. Here we go. And it does move away from the coast. Some of these teams will definitely be happy to see that. All these teams to the northeast, they won't be quite as happy. F-29 Extreme Slayers both going to have to give up as a hard come in towards the uh, middle of safe zone here. Up here to the north, INF. I'm definitely expecting some potential shots betrayed between these two. Actually, no. Nemesis is going to start to back off. Maybe they identified that they were over there. Decided to move the other direction. All right, we do have a bit of time here between these next few fights, it appears, although we do have Super Laser Reflex approaching this compound where the Panthers are right now, but from what I see, they are... Well, no, are they? Bush one kind of turned away, but maybe he's just looking for another angle over here on this edge and actually only moving with a bike, so I imagine he's not going to try to full send on any compound. Oh, but the rest of Super Laser Reflex are going to come in here. Kindness is going to start getting fired on by Asta. Hoshuan trying to snipe in this direction.
All right, that fight is not going to happen unless Super Laser Reflex decides to try to reapproach. Oh, but here we go. They're going to be taking shots over there at Dark Esports. Kindness getting some good long shots right now. It is a full team, though. Got to be careful about how and where you poke your head up to take these shots because you could absolutely get it taken off. All right. Ooh, Extreme Slayers just got a knock on ICU. Valak on Legano or Le Legno. I don't even know what to call this member. Wancho's the last one from ICU. Not going to back off. Is going to come in and go for the easy. Well, he went for the elimination right there. He immediately went for the guy that was already knocked, which I love to see, honestly. Oh, he's not the last one. Why am I not seeing some of these players? Zuko is also still up. I don't know why I thought his his uh, health bar under him was blank. I'm getting old. My eyes are bad. I'm sorry, chat. Zuko sending some nades over here, and there's a nade coming back. Nope, doesn't hit, though. Robert took a bit of damage from that nade here. Wancho and Zuko both just trying to get some good damage on one of these guys. Open something up for them to push. Robert's going to come up here, and we're going to see... Wancho, oh, tries to transfer with that UMP. Not able to, though, and Zuko goes down afterwards. Extreme Slayers, nice squad wipe on ICU. All right, so I'm getting, I'm anticipating something here soon between Nemesis and Lotus Esports over here outside of San Martin. Not happening just yet, though. We got the Panthers over here with Super Laser Reflex on one side, KR Esports. May have some action going on there soon. Let's see. Ander is looking in that direction. They've they've definitely identified one another. Here, F29 and Extreme Slayers looking at each other. F29 kind of backing off a little bit, but looking back there now, too. And it looks like F29 is going to be content with grabbing that buggy and making moves. That does give them some more mobility, an extra piece of cover in the zone. Dark Esports right next to SLR here. They're going for the same compound, in fact. And you see Calicar just keeps it moving. Did not even want to test that. Lotus Esports have a pretty good angle up top, actually. They may be able to lay in some good fire down there on Super Lazy Reflex. Ooh, there's some action going on right now. Rude Dudes, F29, INF, KR. Where the fight's at? Oh, it's out here. That's where this other fight's going on. As of right now, INF is getting fired on long range by F29 Reborn, but we also have Rude Dudes over here and KR Esports. Let's have a look at them. Melaz is down. Manny is down as well. We got Extreme Slayers engaging the Panthers over there. 
KRE Sports is just going to go ahead and get out. So let's go check out what's happening with the Panthers. And damn, oh, Poppy Sour getting hit hard by GRE Sports in the distance. Poppy Triste, one of two left from the Panthers. Melatonina over here as a solo. And you can see the Panthers, not quite the same team they were last night when they dropped 34 in one match. The most alims I've ever seen in a match. I'm pretty sure. Either the most or the second most. I do remember in that Titan Gaming tourney, SBG was going off as well. All right, GR Esports on Extreme Slayers. Looks like they did get a knock on one of those members. All right, Panthers, Poppy Triste still staying low here, and I'm and I'm like kind of blown away that he's able to just stay like out here in the open. I, I don't know. I I guess it's Miramar, just so wide open. There's not a whole lot of like high ground right here that he can be seen with. But yeah, Poppy Triste just relaxing right now, getting himself a tan, just just soaking up them rays. Melatonina getting pushed here, and did put out a lot of damage. Oh, that is it. Golden Eagles will push that solo from the Panthers, and they're going to be down to one member after that. Oh, look at this southwest side of zone leading up to it. Super Laser Reflex, Dark Esports, and Lotus. Although, oh yeah, we were looking at this before. Quite a bit separated because of this like mountain range that Lotus is holding on to. So those two teams will probably approach the zone at different angles. See Darko, uh, D2 sending shots right now. Golden Eagles did end up pushing out. Or excuse me, it was uh, Rude Dudes that pushed out here to engage Golden Eagles. Manny just got lit up with a nade. We got uh, Nemesis in control in a fight right now too, but let's, let's see what Eagle 69 is looking at here. Sitting in this high ground or sitting on this ridge just above Golden Eagles. And these guys all have to start moving. They are pretty far away from the safe zone. Eagle just waiting to ambush. We got Super Laser Reflex and GR Esports in a fight right now. I, I want to see it, though. Eagle pops up and gets some good shots on Dooku. Do Dooku. I never know what to call that member. Gets the knock on one. Eagle does not go for cover. Ends up going downhill, and Rana will take him out. Was the push worth it, Rude Dudes? Was the push this far out worth it? I don't think it was. Oh, no, wait a minute. The rest of them are trying to get an angle here. Is that working? They're just firing at the smoke. They can't really see too well. All right. So, yes, Golden Eagles NA will be able to get out of that, I believe. Dark Esports here. And Control Duck as a solo. Does get the knock on one, but gets knocked up above by Spec. Spec did not want to give him that a limb. All right, Control has Fatty and Pika left standing here in the middle of the safe zone. Ooh, Ander from Lotus Esports just got hit hard. Lotus and SLR all intertwined here. They all rotated the same way. Lotus did have the slight high ground, but you see they're like very, very separated. That's it for Fishy. Super Lazy Reflex. Really, really giving it to these other teams here. They grabbed a win in round one. You can see they're playing with some confidence right now, playing some swagger. I like how Nemesis has been playing this too. As of right now, they only have four eliminations. I'm not even going to say only. They have four eliminations. They've been making some good long shots. And they've got some pretty good positioning here on this next zone shift. Right on the, like, mountain outside of San Martin or whatever you want to call this. This, this large hill. All 
All right, so Extreme Slayers, they're grabbing their vehicles. They're going to start to move inwards as well. And it's just getting less, less and less real estate for teams to really hold on to out here. Robert and Freddy looking around, trying to find a safe path. Back over towards the southwest side of zone, which has just been pretty hectic. Nemesis, low to Z-Sport. You see they got backed out. They got back down over here right on the edge of zone in this little divot. They're going to have to start moving up soon, although they are somewhat close to that next circle. Let's see how Super Lazy Reflex is going to approach this. They are coming up here. Nades being cooked. Lotus trying to move in past that. Nemesis was focusing them. Ooh, JSVN almost got the knock on Kindness. He backed off, though. Lucky he had Ho Shuan backing him up. Spec is going to come over and back up JSVN. While Berlin takes out Gera of Lotus Esports behind them. GR Esports on Rude Dudes. Oh, SLR getting good damage on GR. Here comes Nemesis from behind them. And the Panthers over on the other side. I really like how Controls got that middle building held down. We'll see if they are able to secure it. Ajmer just got taken out as he tried to push by Fatty. Control did end up just taking out Dark Esports over there in the middle. And look at that. They're looking really good. They've got that hard cover. Nemesis moving up here from the high ground. Whole time, Super Laser Reflex and GR have been exchanging long fire as well. Super Laser Reflex has white elegy down, but should be able to get that. Should be able to get that revive. Goddard gets knocked by Frady of Extreme Slayers. Super Lazy Reflex. They are hurting right now. GR Esports have decided to push them. You can see SLR is just holding on. Koi gets finished off. It was Berlin who moved out to the blue to get the better angle. Now GR Esports is in trouble. Berlin's definitely going down to that blue. Spec and Fate hold it down for Nemesis in towards the middle. Four teams left in this one. Extreme Slayers still in this one. Control still in this one. Who else is still in it? GR and Nemesis. Yeah, so that's our four. And it looks like Nemesis is going to be down to a solo with just Fate holding on to this area up towards the, up to like basically the high ground. But he is joined with GR Esports over on the other side. Fate's definitely not going to be able to get that res off on JSBN. Teams aren't being moved just yet. Until they're forced to, they won't. Brady got a few shots put on him by control. You see Fates just here watching that edge. Brady has a nice angle. 
has to move up now. Blue is forcing him. And Robert's actually going to push this building, but Fate sitting above control as they were trying to back out there. Fate definitely has a nice angle and probably going to get the squad wipe there on control. Yes, they do. All right, so this is your top three, folks. It's Team 8, Nemesis. Team 4, Extreme Slayers. Team 17, GR Esports. Place your bets now. Who's going to be on top in this one? And Fate's got a really nice position over here. Although, is out of the zone. But, Fate can sit back and let these two start engaging one... And start... Can allow these two to start engaging one another. And then can decide to come in and push. If he does have any heals, he can heal through the blue. No, he doesn't have too many. Never mind. Criminal's watching that spot. He knows Fate's sitting over there. Oh, that's one down on each Extreme Slayers and GRE Sports. Fate takes down Criminal. Look at Fate's HP right now. Narrowly won that fight, but did win it. Oh my goodness. All right, now Fate. Gonna try to throw a nade down here towards Extreme Slayers. Has an idea of where they are. And took too long. Couldn't cancel the nade. And gets taken down. Extreme Slayers pull out the victory here in round two. They're gonna put up a total of... What's that? 12 eliminations on the way to that first place finish. Very, very nice job to them. Second place will be Nemesis putting up a total of 10... And third place will be GR Esports with a total of eight. All right, here are your stars of the match, ladies and gentlemen. Looking at this one, we do have Robert from Extreme Slayers getting that going a lot award with five defeats. On GR Esports, we do have. Alien getting that best companion with two revives. And with the final elimination, that is going to go to Robert as well of Extreme Slayers. Whew, Extreme Slayers, not a bad round at all from them. Okay, guys, round two finished up there. Extreme Slayers are winners from the very first season of PMCI coming in. Grabbing a nice dub there. Good job to them. Hey, two of our pro teams now back-to-back -back grabbing wins. SLR in round one, Extreme Slayers in round two. And you always got to be aware of these teams there, guys. Talking to you community teams, those professional teams, clearly they got a lot of time in this game. They know what they're doing. And they're kind of putting that on display with these rotations and just uh, solid gameplay overall. They're quick to get reses off on each other, quick to find those really good areas to get cover in. We saw a great example of it right there with Extreme Slayers in that low ground. Love what I saw, guys. Love what I saw. But all right. Yep. Good stuff here. We are going to go ahead and get ready to start the next round. Just going to go ahead and... Uh, run a few of these replays for you while we get ready. I think my... my Pedal over here got a little stuck, so I only got a few replays I just noticed, unfortunately. But we got some good ones either way, guys. And yes, we will be back here soon with the start of round three on Sandhawk shortly, all right?
Okay, guys, coming back in. We are showing our results here again. Super Lazy Reflex and Extreme Slayers. Two teams from our professional groups taking the wins. Taking matches one and two in this one, both with 12 eliminations. Super Lazy Reflex actually not playing too bad in this one. I think they took fifth in the last one. So I'm going to have to give them the benefit of the doubt having first place come into this one. At least into round three right now, guys. All right, so looking at our plane path just for you guys to see. And we do have a plane path coming in from south to north. Having pretty good coverage on this one. Obviously, it's Sandhawk, though. Not the most important one to have in a good spot on the plane path because you can really land wherever you want. All right, well, let's see where these early fights are going to be taking place. We've got a few teams heading down here towards Sami area. I see the Panthers, Nemesis, and there's a yellow team in there, isn't there? Yeah, INF all coming in for this same area down here. And then Boot Camp is going to have ICU. Who else is landing out here? No, it is actually or ICU and Taco Lovers. Out there in boot camp, up to the north, Dark Esports, Lotus Esports, and Golden Eagles kind of spread out along that area. We are definitely going to keep it here for now. Oh, Illusion starting out getting a good knock there. He's going to come back around here. And I think... Yep, Chills is going for the res on his teammate. Illusion looking and does end up go, going down there. Alright, so you see Nemesis took kind of the south side of Sami. Gave INF... The chance to openly engage, uh, or at least that one member of the Panthers, Asta. And Poppy Triste over here. Alright, most likely we will be jumping over that fight up to the north here soon. I'm looking at that boot camp fight. My mouth's starting to salivate. I want to see some, I want to see some crazy fights. Asta's over here getting pushed. INF coming in. Kunj done. Well, let's see if Asta and Poppy Triste can hold this compound. This is a potential 4v2 here if the rest of INF push. Let's see. Oh, Asta. Nice shots to Kunj done. Oh, Poppy Triste was back there, though. Oh, gets a knock. Almost took both of them down, but the DBS right to the chest is hard to um, hard to survive. <laughs> Melatonina not backing off of this. Love to see that. They are going straight in, I think. I'm trying to move around and get that res off on Poppy Triste. Not going to make it in time, though. Nemesis are getting in position up above this compound. And I think they are going to go for the third party here. Minato is down. Melatonina, good shots. And does decide to start backing off this. Right as they do, Nemesis strikes. And INF is getting pinched in a very tough way right now. Nice shots, Melatonina. This was the one who dropped 14 limbs last night in that lobby and was the one who really put up that big amount of eliminations for the Panthers, although the rest of them did put up some too. That last member is going to go down to spec. 
All right, so INF still standing, although just narrowly. It is deep. All right, hey, KR Esports going against... Was that Taco Lover just saw him going against, I think? I love tacos. For those guys don't know. I love them. Oh, no, it was rude dudes that they were going against. All right, the point still remains. Tacos are amazing. All right, we're going up here to the north. Let's go see Friday. You know what? It was Fetty that got taken out. I think Friday was just on that body, looting it up. And Friday's actually not with the rest of the squad. Thursday and Doodle Bob are down here in boot camp. Oh, man, these guys are living life like crazy. Yes, big fan of the graphics myself, Red Eyes. Shout out to the artist that did this, Texas, uh, and then got the artist to do another solid theme here. I got to say, PMCI's graphics have been on point every season. First season was the green one. Second was like the Halloween uh, orange. This one, we got the Joker. Oh, yeah, on point. Chef's kiss. All right, still nothing going on over here, guys. Waiting to see. Oh, Super Laser Reflex and Extreme Slayers. Poppy Sour is going to go down. Oh, man. Oh, that's two members, though. Hoshwana, White Elegy down. Robert laying down some great fire here. Kindness and Koi both still standing. And then we also have ICU from the side sending shots in this direction. I see you sending shots up the hill here and you see super laser reflex. They got themselves fully healed up and they're going to back off that smart decision considering how hot this area is. They're going to be moving over here towards control in front of them. Control does not have a vehicle. Taco Lover's getting pushed by ICU over here. Oh, ho, ho, Nate did not see Thursday laying down there. Valak goes down next. Taco Lover's with a coordinated strike right now. They've evened this up. It's a 2v2 fight. And actually, that's the third member of Taco Lover's getting in the area now, too. Found a vehicle. It was, I believe it was Friday was not with them. Zuko and Wancho definitely in trouble here. But they could get out of this. I've definitely seen Wancho make some amazing shots at long range. Could easily hit him this close. Oh, he gets a nice nade there on Friday. So it's 2v2 right now. Zuko moving in, trying to send shots through that smoke, using that little gap in between to try and see what's going on. Taco Lovers get back to a three-man crew. Thursday is going to go ahead and back off. May try to get on this hill behind. I think that's exactly what he's going to go and try and do. Yep. Doodle Bob sitting up here just trying to see if he can see Zuko or Wancho over from this side. Super Laser Reflex driving past. Koi up in this hill. Looks like they may just keep moving.
Taco lovers see Extreme Slayers up on this hill. And that is not a team you want to see as a solo. Oh no, Thursday. Care on Rude Dudes. And that's over here. Pushing in this compound. Jazz is hit. And that is going to be a squad wipe there. We get there just as KR Esports takes out Rude Dudes. Lotus on control. Where is that at? Um, Here's control. Oh, Lotus is up to the, there to the north. Yeah, so it looks like JPK maybe had separated a bit from the rest of the squad. You see Lotus was here already holding on to that northern area. Taco lovers are moving over here. Friday is right next to White Elegy. We got Dark Esports and GR Esports in a fight. White Elegy, what is he doing on this hill? He's just kind of moving around, jumping. And I don't think Friday is going to choose to push this. Could maybe get a knock here, but doesn't have that... Doesn't quite have that ambush uh, prepared well. Positioned well. There we go. Yeah, he's kind of at a low angle. If he was above, could absolutely pop out, get a knock. But then with the rest of the squad being down here too, Friday would be completely exposed after that. Robert GG does go down across the way. Golden Eagles NA have the angle. A lot of teams coming in from this southern area still. Well, yeah, Wancho and Zuko are going to have to start moving up soon. Frady gets knocked by Ked of Golden Eagles across the way. And Extreme Slayer is down another member. Robert here is not with his teammate. Actually, they are somewhat close. They're just, yeah, a bit separated over here. Leg is looking for an angle behind these ICU guys. Here we go, Nemesis and Super Lazy Reflex starting to send shots on one another. You see Koi took a lot of damage there. Ooh, but actually, I thought it was going to be a fight there between an S and an, uh, Super Lazy Reflex potentially, but you see they're moving right over here towards Paradise. And they've got KR Esports attention now. Blinky just got hit hard by JSVN. Friday from Taco Lovers got the knock on Wancho. And it looks like ICU may be getting taken out. That's it. ICU gets taken out by the Taco Lovers. Melez got hit hard. Blinky is down. And you see straight on a Paul is creeping up right now too. They could absolutely look for a third party. GSVN looking behind him. So yeah, KR Esports, or excuse me, Nemesis uh, in a bit of a tough situation here. Fate is going to move back right next to SLR. And he's quick enough. He's not... Easily focused on is going to ditch the vehicle though and get ready to take this fight on on foot. Fate has no fear right now. I love the confidence he's playing with. The rest of Nemesis not really looking in this direction and Fate's back is exposed. SLR, the rest of them moving around here. Berlin from NS is down. Good angle from Koi. JSVN is down. And Nemesis, we're trying to make something happen here, but 
Just very tough when you're between two teams like this. Between like three teams, in fact. Let's see if fate... Does end up going down to Frankie. Good angle from straight on to Paul having that. Just, just peeking at it, staring directly at him. Was able to finally get the knock there on Fate. Control and Golden Eagles NA. It looks like Golden Eagles did just take out that last member with a well-tossed nade. We're checking out Extreme Slayers next. Winners of our last round right below. Right downhill from the winners of the first round. And they are still a full four-man crew, although White Elegy is pretty low at the moment. Oh my goodness, look at this zone right now. Taco Lovers uh, got the knock. You know what? They're way out here taking shots at SLR. I was wondering where they were. And they are putting the damage on them. It's Friday here. I wish I could, like, peek around a little bit and see exactly what he sees. That is a beautiful angle they have. All right, Dark Esports and Golden Eagles NA right over here next to one another. You see the nades coming in from Dark Esports. KR Esports on Nemesis. They've started to engage one another. All right, Golden Eagles, they are moving up that hill to get position behind Dark Esports. And look at that. They start sending big shots back and forth. You see Rana did go down. I think Roll Kiss is going to have to heal through that blue. Does get that heal off. I mean, this is just crazy right now. We got Lotus Esports a little farther in, sending shots at GR Esports. Eight teams left and just fights left and right out here. Let's focus on this Dark Esports fight. These guys are right next to one another. Calicar might be in the perfect position to send a nade over there. Dooku is down. Rana's down. Rolkus is down. It's just Ked left from this team. And this was definitely a tough push for Golden Eagles NA. They put themselves in a very tough spot. Not just for Dark Esports to see, but I'm pretty sure the Super Lazy Reflex and some of these guys over here towards the, the Northeast had an angle on them as well. KR Esports down to one member over here. Melaz just trying to get out of the blue with Lotus ahead of them. GRE Sports holding on to a comfortable spot there on the north side of map and just harassing these other teams with these long shots. Okay, Doodle Bob from Taco Lovers goes down. We got five teams left now. KRE Sports goes down right afterwards. Koi, Super Laser Reflex taking shots there towards... Uh, yeah, Dark Esports, who did just lose Ajmer. All right, next zone did shift, and it's going to be in Lotus Esports' favor. Super Lazy Reflex also has a bit of a hold on this zone with some hard cover. Kalakar getting hit hard right now. Does get into cover, though, quickly. Naomi was trying to get into cover. Kindness with some great shots. SLR setting big, big shots towards Dark Esports here. Have them very much pinned down. And the blue is going to force them out here soon. Oh, but not before they get taken out in the back by Ked of Golden Eagles, who goes down to the blue right after. This is our top three. Uh, GR Esports 
Lotus Esports and Super Laser Reflex. Lotus Esports did just take out GR Esports, and we have a 3v3 to decide this. Super Lazy Reflex, very, very much pinned down in this little compound. Look how much they're holding on to. One well-tossed nade from Lotus Esports could get a squad wipe here. I would love to see it. I love when people can take good advantage of situations like this. Koi's already out, though. Not trying to allow that to happen to them. Kindness got the knock on Ander. That opens the door for them to make some moves here. Whoa, Schwan staying deep out there in the blue. Needs to get out of that. You see Gara and Fishy stand back. Is Gara going to try to go for the res? Here comes Koi. They're in. Another Molly forces Kindness back a little bit. Koi is down. Or is he? Yes, he is down there. And it's Fishy against the world here. 1v2 situation, here comes the nade from Huo Xuan. Forces Fishy off of that. And he tries to transfer, not fast enough though. And that is gonna be it. SLR will grab the win here in round three. They're gonna put up a total of 11 eliminations on their way to that chicken dinner. Second place will be Lotus Esports with a total of eight. And third place will be GR Esports with one. All right, stars of the match are as follows. Kindness from Super Laser Reflex comes in and gets that going allowed award with six defeats. Looking at our best companion, that is going to go to Koi of Super Laser Reflex with three with three revives. And our final elimination will go to Kindness as well of Super Laser Reflex. Very nice job to them grabbing that victory overall in round three. Okay, guys, you can see these pro teams. You see why they were in the pro lobby, and they really are kind of showing their dominance here, showing their knowledge of the map, and just their... It's almost street smarts when it comes to it. Knowing where to move here, knowing the maps well enough to know which certain uh, locations, which certain compounds will be good to grab once we do see, um, you know, certain, certain zones shown. So... Definitely, definitely love to see that we had a great fight there between two of those teams, Lotus Esports and Super Laser Reflex. Super Laser Reflex grabbing their second win of the night, though. And yes, they have absolutely been on a roll. Fantastic, fantastic uh, second dub overall for them. So, all right, guys, let's go ahead and get ready then for round four. Another match on Miramar coming at you here soon. We'll see if one of these community teams can come out and grab a win. I'm not sure the way these pro teams are playing right now. They're really not allowing anyone else to come out here. Um, but yeah, we will have a close eye on things. And we'll be back here soon with the start of round four. Enjoy those replays from the last one.
All right, we are back, guys. Just about to be started on the next match. SLR grabbing another win in the last one. Absolutely our top dogs here le leading into round four of five. All right, so here we go. All right, I'm just learning that F29 God LD, not Goddled. Okay, I'm sorry. It just looked like it made sense. <laughs> All right, thank you for letting me know, Official G. All right, guys, looking at this first uh, zone here. Plane path coming in from the southeast, going over to the west center side of map. That is going to leave most of the north side of map uh, too far out of reach to land. I mean, at least the northeast side. Northwest could definitely still be landed, like Pozo area, but... Um, definitely going to be hard for some of these teams to reach places like Azahar, Water Treatment. Even San Martin may be a little bit of a stretch here, but we're definitely going to see some teams try for it, I imagine. All right, over here, we got the Panthers landing in right next to KRE Sports. All right, Picado's got two teams that have landed out here as well. It's Dark Esports and Taco Lovers. Impala also has two teams right on top of one another with Straight Out of Nepal. And I see you, question mark. I think it's more than just these two flying in right now, though, isn't it? Yeah, Wancho's already down. Okay. So just want to kind of give you guys an idea of where these teams are fighting off. Oh, I've never seen two teams drop down here. Where? I don't even know the name of this location. I never dropped down here. Partona. Panthers have started out uh, down at Porto Preso getting some, some damage on each other, getting a knock. Melaz is down and gets thirsted. All right. J7 with a knock. Yeah, guys, do me a favor. Just let me know, especially if I'm completely butchering a player's name. I take no offense to being corrected. I'm glad... <laughs> I'm glad to be told, uh, you know, some of these new unique names. So, yeah, players in chat, thank you guys. All right, spec is low. Minato deep getting ready to try to engage Berlin on this side. Spec looking for an angle, gonna come up on top here. Mm. 
Minato does not have any type of shoddy right now or anything either, which is what you would really want in this situation, this tight quarter situation. There's Minato just watching and waiting. Melatonina gets a knock. Ooh, some decent damage there on spec. Goes down, deep follows up afterwards, and Nemesis will get the squad wipe over there on Inferno Esports. All right, moving along, guys. Moving along. Here we go. Mambe takes some nice shots at Illusion. Does take them down. I believe that was a thirst. Wish from KR Esports moving around. And it's actually just these two members left going against three members of the Panthers. Panthers were the ones that dropped 34 in that lobby last night, although that was a community lobby. But they did go against the likes of this team here, KR Esports. They were absolutely in that lobby. And KR Esports was the, the top team overall last night. Straight on Nepal on ICU. We're going to have to go and check that out here soon. I do want to see the conclusion of this fight, though. Golden Eagles, NA, and Control. Asta's trying to climb up this right here. Thought they had it. it looked like they did, but I guess not. It's been a little funky. All right, we may have to bounce back over to this, guys. I do want to see if there's any other action going on here. ICU and straight on a pulse. King has the high ground here. Frankie and Wolf both getting hit hard. Nate goes down. He did get some decent shots on both of them. Zuko over here is down as well. ICU in a bit of danger. Only having two members left, although they are on the outskirts of the city. They got vehicles. They can exit this situation if needed. All right, over here, Melatonina is down. KR Esports has this last member remaining. Mambe is throwing a nade. Beautiful nade there. Takes out Melatonina and Asta, who is going for the res. Poppy Triste moving back around. And going to get Asta picked up. Mambe with one more nade could seal the deal here and get the squad wipe. And no, they're going to choose to back off. All right, let's go up to Picado, guys. See what's happening with this fight that we did step away from earlier. Thursday, Doodle Bob and Sauce in this one. And it is just a three-man crew going against the likes of Dark Esports, who are a full four-man. Let's just make sure we're not missing any other big fights out here. Ooh, Rude Dudes and Control. Let's see. Let's check out the end of this uh, ICU fight as well. Let's see if Wancho and Valak able to hold off this push and straight out of Nepal crew. He's got the DBS ready. Oh! Ho, ho, ho. Wancho got taken out, and those two almost took themselves out. Wolf and Frankie blew up a, a gas can. They're lucky that gas cans cannot one-shot. F29 and Rude Dudes in a fight right now. And look at that, F uh, Rude Dudes had extended out a little bit to try to chase down Control from what I could tell. F29 have engaged them here. Relax gets hit by Duck. So Control sitting back and taking some long range shots themselves. I can't quite see them from this view. But we know F29 just lost one of their members to them. Yep, there's Control over there in the distance.
Lotus and Extreme Slayers are rotating past each other up here to the north. Let me just have a, a quick peek at this and just see. Gera's going to pop out and try and take some shots over there at Robert. And look at Lotus Esports just getting themselves in position. Ander sees Frady. That vehicle was stuck for a second, but Frady got it out. And Ander, if he tries to engage this, he's going to be in big trouble. I don't think he realizes there's a full squad right in front of him. Or maybe he does, and he's feeling confident knowing his team's behind him. I think I'm going to go with the ladder. So Fishy and Andrew here moving up to take on Extreme Slayers. Taco Lovers and Dark Esports. Sauce is down. Thursday is down. Doodle Bob. Could not get a knock there. Will he have a chance to get the res off? And he's going to try and preemptively push that. Where'd he go? Oh. <laughs> Fishy gets a knock on Robert. That's the Lotus Esport and uh, Extreme Slayers fight starting outside of San Martin. Doodle Bob gets a knock with that nade. Oh, that didn't hit. I can't believe it didn't hit. The second one does, though. Doodle Bob needs to heal right now. Calicard's coming up the steps. Doodle Bob, literally, if you breathe on him, he'll go down. And that is that. Dark Esports will get the squad wipe here on Taco Lovers. Back over here to the north. I was just mentioning that fight with Lotus and Extreme Slayers. Extreme Slayers just got a knock on one of those members. Lotus, we saw him fumble the bag at the end of the last one. They had a chance to grab a solid win against SLR. And we can see here it's just fishy and he's going to be forced to back off, unfortunately. Extreme Slayers, the confidence that they play with right now. They were able to hold off that attack, and they're going to remain a full four-man squad. Fishy moving over here may be an easy target. You see, they're moving around, not trying to give Fishy an angle. Fishy was looking for that angle on them, I think. Fishy not trying to get squad wipe here. Look at all the, the shots moving around him. Lucky he hasn't taken any damage at all. We got Eagles here. Eagle 69K taking shots at Super Lazy Reflex as they roll by. And that next zone did just shift inwards a little bit. Doesn't change too much right now. We still have 14 teams remaining in this one, surprisingly. Yeah, if I zoom out, you can see a few a few more teams still coming in from the edge. And Los Leones looks like it may be the focus of these later circles. I'd be surprised if we see something shift towards Impala. I really do think we're going to see a, uh, a Los Leones late game stage circle. But maybe not. I've been wrong on many things. Here, I'm going to make my, my guess right now. The center of the zone is going to be right in this area, right around here. That's my guess. You heard it here. Let's see. Zone shifts. Oh my goodness, look at that. <laughs> the amazing, amazing prediction skills of this walking, talking bean. All right. 
it's <laughs> so NS is going to get themselves in position here right near the middle of zone right now we're waiting to see what's happening with these other teams where they're going to try to push Los Lienos though obviously there's plenty of places for teams to hide out in and we may see a lot of teams late game when we see a big city like this get in one of these circles it, it gives a lot of opportunities for snakes and and teams to just sit back and not really have to take on fights it can absolutely get chaotic We'll have to see if that's if that's what we're looking at here in this uh, fourth match this evening. Oh, control here, moving in past F twenty nine. I think that was was that F twenty nine. Yeah, and this is God LD here, not Goddled. God LD. <laughs> I'm shaking my head that I've been calling him that, but it looked right. Okay. Um, over here, guys, Rude Dudes and GR Esports. GR Esports looked like they were looking in this direction at least. They are going to go ahead and back off, though, and move in. They're moving in right towards SLR right now. And they are going to back off that. They're just looking for a good compound to hold on to. Maybe they need a little more loot. Either way, they don't they do not want that fight with SLR right now. Here comes Extreme Slayers coming in from the north right now. Over here, King from straight on to Paul was just taking some shots from somebody. I'm not sure whom. Rude dudes and straight on to Paul. This is the rivalry right here, guys. This is the rivalry. Wolf OP gets knocked. Frankie trying to go out here. Does take down one of those members. Frankie gets absolutely crushed there afterwards. GR Esports up above. They're going to start the third party, I think. No, I think that was Titan taking shots outwards towards uh, WWDMM, WDNN. Oh, Extreme Slayers have pushed up on GR Esports compound. Freddy and Legend here. Criminal just got hit hard with that nade. We got Freddy in here. Just took a little bit of damage from that surprise. And I thought he was completely covered. Oh, the nade from Legend takes down Tornado. Criminal's low on the other side. Legend gets him. Poppy Sour from Extreme Slayers went down, as did Robert. Super Lazy Reflex up above. I've got a great angle on this compound. Anyone outside of it, anyways. GRE Sports have just Gentleman left standing who's going to grab that vehicle and vacate the premises. Super Lazy Reflex showing why they're the top dog tonight. The way they're playing, they've got themselves in great position. They're making some good long shots too. All right, gentlemen just got taken out straight on a pole. Or gentlemen tried to roll past straight on a pole and they did end up Taking out that vehicle. The next circle. Look at that. Look how much of that circle's touching Los Leones. Oh, wow. This is going to get toxic, guys. I already know. Los Leones circles are so chaotic. All right. Let's go have a look at the team who are already in position right now. Out here trying to gatekeep some of these other teams in the area. As of right now, it's F29 looking at Golden Eagles N.A. Looking at Nemesis here, Fate, the last one from that team. No, excuse me, the solo member of that team. I forgot Fate likes to kind of go and, and do the solo thing a little bit. Scout out for the team. He is going to go back and regroup with Berlin and the rest of Nemesis.
McCoy's trying to catch J7 over there. But that's what we're seeing a lot of right now is long range pop shots. As we get into Los Leonos, we're definitely going to stop seeing that as much. Look how many teams are coming in from this east edge right now, too. Straight on a pole, Kara Esports. Kindness was taking shots over there at Extreme Slayers, who are trying to get out of that blue right now. That one member was pretty low. Robert is who I'm looking at. It's fourth stage right now. He needs to stay ahead of that blue. He's going to keep using these bandages to stay ahead. Oh, but here comes Kindness and them. They're going to have to go up on the right side. Oh, White Elegy just got lit up in the back. It was fishy from Lotus Esports. A solo, but still making some great shots. White Elegy goes down. That's definitely going to help out Extreme Slayers quite a bit with their push. All right, Titan from Rude Dudes goes down, and that was Nemesis above them that got the knock. I believe it was J7 over here, or was one of these other members. But Fate and Berlin have Super Laser Reflex above them now. And Huo Xuan with this position, you see he's staring right out there, right towards Nemesis. Not a great spot to be in for them. They do still have vehicles, though. J7 moves around. Fishy on Robert. Fishy has just been taking shots without fear. I love it. The solo playing with nothing to lose right now. Playing like he's got nothing to lose. Koi just took out J7 of Nemesis. And let's see, Berlin and Fate are just going to try to grab this vehicle. Move away from Super Lazy Reflex. All right. Nemesis will live to fight another day. Fate and Berlin do find themselves a nice little safe spot in zone here. And look at that next zone. It shifts right on top of Los Leones again. We got nine teams coming in to this sixth stage. Super Laser Reflex choosing to stay on the outskirts of the city, firing inwards. Kindness got taken out. Koi is able to make it. Kindness is going to get thirsty, though. Control is here. Trying to stop them from making this push. F-29 on Fate of NS. Oh, Duck just got hit very hard in the back. Pika goes down. Duck and I have to move up. Oh, and... That is it for Duck. Going to get eliminated out there by Super Laser Reflex. All right, eight teams left, 20 individuals remaining. Here we go. Ho Xuan trying to move up. And these guys are just looking for a safe area. Ho Xuan, the scout for Super Laser Reflex. And still alive right now. Does finally go down. And that obviously gives those other two members of Super Laser Reflex some information. Some places they can focus on. And they actually... Are they on the edge of zone here? No, they're not. They're going to have to make it all the way up to where WDNN is over there. Super Lazy Reflex trying to make their move up. White Elegy just 
Barely with any HP left standing. Does end up going down. That opens it up for Koi to take out that last member straight on a Paul, though. Can Super Laser Reflex make it in? Either way, they've got a top five locked in here. And Koi does finally get taken out. It was the play zone that actually took him out. All right, top four situation. Nemesis, Golden Eagles NA, Dark Esports, and F29 Reborn Dark Esports. Oh, excuse me, guys. I accidentally hit my lock button. Nades coming in from Dark Esports up above. Trying to get some good damage over there on Nemesis. Right, Nemesis will end up getting taken out by Dark Esports. So this is your top three. It's Team 10, F29 Reborn, Team 16, Dark Esports, and Team 18, Golden Eagles NA. These, All three of these teams are community teams. I mentioned it last round that some of these community teams could show up here, could end up getting themselves a win. It's guaranteed to happen here. The question is, which one's it going to be? I really like how Dark Esports is playing through the preseasons, even going against some of those pro-level teams. They were holding their own for a lot of them. F29, similar situation to them, although I did see them more in, in the previous tournaments rather than the preseason scrims. Golden Eagles NA actually are playing with a whole different roster, but they have always been competitors as well, always putting up good fights. EL King gets lit up there by Ajmer. F29 reborn, just barely holding off. Naldo deep in the blue, trying to just heal through it. He does get a knock on Naomi, who's done after that. All right, that's it. F29 Reborn's out. So it's Golden Eagles NA against Dark Esports. Four V three situation. And is this about to close on this wide open alley here? I think it is. Calicar over here is low, trying to heal up right away. D2 and Ajma are looking okay where they are. Ooh, Rolkis got the knock on Ajmer, although Ajmer did send some good shots and hit him a bit. Kalakar throws a nade in, trying to follow it up and get that easy knock. D2 over here looking from this fence, trying to find an angle to give Kalakar some support. D2 is down, and it looks like Golden Eagles N.A., are going to grab the win here in round four. Great position there. The fact that they came in with a full four-man squad absolutely benefited them near the end. Eight total on their way to that chicken dinner. GG's Golden Eagles NA. Second place will be Dark Esports putting up a total of eight as well. And third place will be F29 Reborn with three. All right, here are your stars of the match, folks. From Super Laser Reflex, it is Koi who's going to get that going a lot of going a lot award with four defeats. Uh, looking at our best companion, that is going to go to Legend of Extreme Slayers with two revives, and Rolkis from Golden Eagles NA will get that final elimination for the win. Round four finished up there, guys. And yes, love to see it. One of our community teams was able to come out and get the win there. It was guaranteed it was going to be one of them after that top three. Community teams, I see y'all are hungry. Y'all are trying to get yourselves in that top team conversation here against some of these pro-level teams. It's exactly why I love this tournament so much. It does give these teams an opportunity to come out and get themselves that big recognition going to get some big names there. So, yes, very, very well played there. Golden Eagles NA was a bit of a crazy zone there in Los Leones, but I was not disappointed at all. Some solid fights. But yes, guys, let's go ahead and get prepared for the fifth and final round. We do got more results here for you. 
And I really want to see who's going to be our top team after this one. Super Lazy Reflex with two wins so far out of the four games we've played so far. You got to be looking at them as the number one team. Can they keep up that consistency? Can they get themselves in another top five? If so, they've absolutely locked that number one spot. And if not, I don't know. But remember, this is actually two days of, of action, too. I got to remember that I'm talking out of I'm talking out of the side of my mouth right now a little too much. Either way, Super Lazy Reflex getting two here. If they can even get another top three finish, I do think they will will uh, somewhat lock in their their positioning here, especially with some of these teams not quite playing at their top potential yet. Um, but yeah, guys, round five will have some answers for us. Once we see this one, we're going to go ahead and jump to that. Enjoy our replays here while we get ready for it. And we'll see you here soon for the start of round five on Erringle.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, another quick look at our overall winner, Super Lazy Reflex, with two wins on the night already. 12 and 11 dropped in both of those. Extreme Slayers with one of them with 12. And then our most recent winner was Golden Eagles NA, pulling out that win with eight overall. We have the lobby up right now for the fifth and final match. Let's jump into it and see what these teams got. Look at that plane path. That's a funky plane path. Coming in from the west side of the map there, the center of the west, going straight down to the south. And we got teams who are going north from there, straight over to Georgia Pool. Maybe heading towards Zarki as well. All right, our Pachinki drop is going to be Taco Lovers and Lotus Esports next to one another. And looking at them right as we're dropping in, this is going to be a good fight between these two for sure. All right, Nade's coming in right now. Let's see if any of these are able to hit. And are going for Thursday there. Ooh, Extreme Slayers in control may start to battle it out too up there in South Georgie. For now, we're going to let the kill feed guide us somewhat here where we're going to go. Well, besides looking at the Pachinki fight. All right, we're just going to go peek up there to the north real quick. See how Control and Extreme Slayers are doing. Okay, I thought I thought Extreme Slayers was holding on to this hill looking outwards. Actually, Freddy is peeking in that direction, but I think he wants loot. Might be having a seizure too. Not quite sure on that yet. We're we're going to get back to it. <laughs> All right, over here. Still 62 remaining 16 teams overall. And you see Lotus is pretty spread out here. Gara staying low is more than two buildings separated from the rest of the team right now. We also have F-29 reborn in the area, not far at all to the north. Besides that, really no skirmishes uh, pending just yet. Down there, the Panthers and KR Esports giving each other a lot of space down on Military Island. And yeah, uh, Control and... Extreme Slayers are the other ones I was looking at, but that is not happening. Control's actually making their way in towards Gatka right now. All right, so Pachinki looks like that's that's where we're, we're staying for now. Pachinki's got my attention.
We're just hearing pistols right now. I guess these guys don't want to use up too much of their ammo of their, like, primary. But it's Pachinki. There's got to be plenty of ammo here. <laughs> Maybe they're just uh, bait shots, too. I know I've seen that before as a thing. All right. Well, these guys are giving each other some space right now. No team wants to be the first to misstep and lose a member, obviously. I'm really surprised we didn't see any other hot drops. No one else was was uh, full sending it here on this drop. Those teams that are maybe feel like they weren't playing the best, usually you will see them kind of frag out these lobbies. Last night, that was the story with the Panthers. They dropped 34 in a lobby. They were seeking out every possible fight they could with a hot drop to start. But looking over at the Panthers now, who have actually not been playing the best tonight in terms of overall placement, where are they at? They're actually only a duo out here, and that is definitely not going to make their lives easy in terms of getting into this next qualifier stage. They do still have another night of action, though. Remember, guys. But if you start out if you start out slow, it could absolutely hurt you here later. But then again, some teams are able to pull off that turnaround. Now, we do have these two still looking at one another. These two teams coming from the pro lobbies, Taco Lovers and Lotus Esports. And you see a lot of a lot of strategy being played here. Team, these, uh, This Lotus Esports team has moved around a lot. Fishy has moved back now, is holding on to this high ground, looking over from the church. Gara still staying put right across the way from Friday. Ender and Fetty been moving around as well. Quite a bit of shuffling going on. GR Esports not far away from Control. Fatty, we can see their, their name tag there. That means that they are within like, I think it's 500 meters, something like that. 300 meters is the distance that a spectator can see. So Fatty is not too far. You see they're taking shots at him right now. All right, Extreme Slayer still holding on to the edge of hospital here. I actually thought GR... Oh, yeah, GR's holding on to the edge of hospital, too. They're not far away from each other. Literally a stone's throw away. Robert and Freddy, one compound over. From GR Esports, these other members are moving back up here on the hill. Let's see how they're going to play it. Oh, there's GR Esports moving. And they are not looking to take a fight on. They're going for positioning. All right, down here towards the south, we got Super Laser Reflex and Golden Eagles NA rotating in past one another. Spec from Nemesis just took out Pika. Oh, Rokus got just hit hard there. And Golden Eagles NA getting lit up by Super Laser Reflex. Although there's been some good return shots. Dooku there did get a double knock. Koi is lighting him up though. Here comes Control on the... That other side of the hill. And we also have Ked here. Gets that thirst on. Fo Schwan, I believe that was. Yes. Control moving up here. Looking this direction. Dooku or Duchu. Hit right in the back by Control. Undercutting them. And that will probably stop Golden Eagles from making much happen here in this fight. Although, Super Laser Reflex still only has two members standing. Alright, NS in the area two, taking shots at GR. Super Laser Reflex got their res off, and I think they are going to vacate the area. I want to see what's going on with that GRE Sports situation. Just a lot of teams in close proximity. Ooh, Super Laser Reflex, the other two are going to move over. 
right next to Golden Eagles. Ked is down hill from them. Gonna go for the res on Rolkus. Can they get it? And it starts getting hit in the back. Super Lazy Reflex taking shot. They do have Rude Dudes coming up right above them, though. Rude Dudes here looking to third party. You see Whitebeard moved up pretty close. And I think that is going to help out Golden Eagles NA down there. That's a good distraction for them. Whitebeard. Oh, Whitebeard went and focused on them down there. Ked is down. Although Rolkus got picked up and Golden Eagles NA, I think they're going to survive. Rolkus is trying to drive a, a disabled vehicle away. Oh, no. Unfortunate. All right. Super Laser Reflex will end up getting that squad wipe on Golden Eagles NA. And now Koi is down for Super Laser Reflex. Rude Dudes leapt on that, immediately got that thirst. White Elegy Kindness, last two left now. Getting ready to take on three members of Rude Dudes. And I think there's another third party coming in. Who's taking shots? It's Robert over there in the distance from Extreme Slayers. Just hit Titan a bit in the back. That is going to stall him from joining in with this push. And KR Esports also taking shots in this direction, I think. Or at least they are taking shots. Oh, Manny goes down. White Elegy is low too. Kindness on his last leg, trying to back off and heal up. KR Esports, I think they're going to try to push this. Yeah, they're heading in this direction. Oh, Rude Dudes able to take down the top dogs. Super Lazy Reflex, good fight between them. Whitebeard was patient with it, and he is going to be able to get his teammate back up, and there'll be a duo. Okay, but now they got to deal with KRE Sports behind him. It's a f potentially a full squad here. No, it's actually just these two members sitting above them. The other two members are a little ways away. Titan's down. Still, Whitebeard hasn't gotten up there. That Taco Lovers and Lotus Esports fight has finally started. One of them got a knock. We're going to jump to that. Yeah, let's jump to that real quick. Thursday, trying to get the, oh, the DBS, the quick turn. I thought he was going for a jump shot. Is Fishy the last one? Yes, he is. Here comes a nade from Thursday. Take some damage from it and goes down. No, Fishy was not the last one. I'm just blind, you see. Gara's the last one. It's only second stage, but they need to start healing here. The blue's going to take down Gara, and Gara's going to allow it to happen too. Wow, I did not expect that. Taco Lovers win the fight against Lotus Esports and immediately start lighting up the first crate they see with as much ammo as possible. All right, Rude Dudes over here. I think they did just get taken out by KR Esports. Yes, yep. KR Esports went and took out that last member, Whitebeard. 11 teams left, 39 remaining overall. I see you coming in from the north here, rotating in. These other teams are starting to move in towards the middle as well. I've got a close eye on Extreme Slayers this match. I think they want to come out and grab another win. I think they're very determined to. Of course, all of these teams are determined, but I think these guys, with how they've started already, well, I guess they only have one elimination on their belt. But earlier, they were playing really well. I do think we're going to see an awakening from them. That's just going to be my guess. It's probably going to be wrong, but it's nice when I'm right, isn't it? Isn't it? King gets a knock on Ajmer of Dark Esports. That, where are they at? Oh, that was uh, out towards those planes. Dark Esports was trying to move in to find some cover, I suppose. Yeah, I believe so. Yep, you see that vehicle was disabled. Okay, so this next zone you see, we are covering Gatka and Corey here. This, ooh, I, I, for the player's sake, I hope we don't see a, a Corey late zone. 
Oh, over here, we got ICU moving up right to INF. ICU, or both these teams are a full team, I believe. Yeah, they are. Minato sitting on the edge is going to be able to get an angle on Nate here soon. No, Nate chooses to back off. Nice, Nate. Does a lot of damage to Nate. Oh, Nate and Zuko do get the knock. Who got the knock on Zuko? I think it was one of these other... One of the INF members sitting here in this building. Didn't think he poked his head enough, uh, up enough to get hit. All right, so Minato's down. Chills is the last one here. Gets the knock on Valak. Well-placed nade. You see that other member of INF, Kunjdan, went low to get another angle, but it's getting blocked by all that tree cover. Taco Lovers and straight on a pole in a big fight right now. We're going to let this one finish off for now. Chill's going to throw a nade into that room. What a nade there. Takes down both Wancho and Zuko. And that's a squad wipe. Oh, my goodness. INF, good defense of their compound here. Taken out ICU. All right, let's go see the Panthers. I think they ended up just getting taken out, maybe. Wait, no, no, no. They're, uh... They are still standing. Excuse me. I think they did catch one of these NS members, J7. Yes. Uh, where are the taco lovers? I know they were in a fight earlier. Doodle Bob. Oh, we got there just as Doodle Bob was getting taken out. And I think it was Dark Esports that won that fight against them. All right, that zone did just shift again. It's going to be touching just the edge of Corey. Not too, too bad. It actually gives a nice hill for some of these teams to go in and grab. Looks like GR Esports may already have their eye on it. You see they're right next to it. Dark Esports coming in now from the south, moving in that direction. Oh, matter of fact, GR Esports holding on to that compound, not the hill. Control still standing here. Fatty trying to defend his compound. JPK's in on the first floor. And this is craziness right now. A full squad pushing these two members. Extreme Slayers. Fatty got hit hard. JPK's down. Fatty barely. Oh, he was barely standing. And I think it was actually KRE Sports that may have taken out that last member. Yes, it was. It was Wish. And now they're actually getting a good bit of damage on Extreme Slayers too, but they've also got straight on Nepal coming in from behind them. You see Wish still taking long shots at Extreme Slayers here. They got Legend picked up. Robert should be able to get picked up as well. Extreme Slayers recovers quickly. They've got great coordination. When they go down, they're always so quick to get those smokes out and immediately just protect themselves. see if KR Esports is able to resume that fight with them or how this is going to play out with Straight on Nepal. Frankie and WDNN, they are going to be moving away. They're actually going to come up and potentially grab this hill here. It looks like they are going for high ground. And matter of fact, they're just going to go for position in general. Ooh, GR Esports and Dark Esports. Looks like GR was able to take some shots uphill to take down Naomi. Straight Air Nepal is taking shots at Dark Esports right now, too. WDNN had a nice angle down on them. It's one reason I do not ever like to go down to Corey. I always feel like I'm getting fired on from above. Frady gets a knock on chills of INF. That's Extreme Slayers and INF trading fire. Let's go to that, guys. We got to see. INF has two members down here. Deep and Kunjdan, last ones from INF. Two members down of Extreme Slayers. It's Poppy Sour and Robert GG. Robert takes down deep with that S12. That is a mean shoddy. Kunjdan does end up thirsting some players. Extreme Slayers coming to finish him off. And we have Nemesis pushing in now. 
And this has just been the craziest little little watchtower thing. Fate comes in with that bison and gets the quick knock and thirst. Robert hightailed it out of there. KR Esports is here too. Where the heck did they come from? Team's coming out of left field over here. Oh, Fate got hit with a nice nade from Blinky. Spec throwing some nades in that direction too right now. And I think that nade is going to hit Melaz. No, it was a smoke that Spec threw. This is chaotic. Berlin's coming in to help Spec out. He's low right now. Needs to heal. Does get that heal off. Berlin pulls up and immediately gets taken out. Spec is the lone member now. Just going to grab his vehicle and try to survive. Smart decision there. Can he get away? Can he get away? I think so. The Panthers, Asta, just got a knock on one of those Extreme Slayers members across the map. Or across the zone, I should say. GR Esports still a three-man. Dark Esports over here, a duo. Spec, we just watched get out of that crazy situation. GR Esports looking uphill at Straight Out of Nepal, doing some good damage on them. You see, WDN did have to take take some cover. Actually, just these two up here, Wolf and this other member. Ooh, Poppy Tree Stay. It looked like, yes, the Panthers, they're, they were blended into the map. I couldn't see their dots. Poppy Tree Stay with a nice nade over there does end up taking down one of those Dark Esports members. Spec just got taken out over the edge. You see, he did some good damage to Mambe before he went down and that other member. Top five situation. Asta and Poppy Triste moving up slowly. GR Esports have the numbers right now. I do like how they've been playing it. They have been prioritizing positioning. You can see they do have a nice hold on this next zone. Panthers are going to move up towards this little shed that Calicar is holding on to. He's going to come out and throw that nade. And he does get the knock on Poppy Tree State. Great nade there. Oh, great return nade from Asta. Able to save their teammate. Top four situation. Linky sending some nades there towards straight on a Paul. Is that going to hit? GR has a good view over there. Oh, Blinky tossed another nade and did hit one. Wolf is down. Blinky is down. I got to give props to the Panthers coming in, playing the way they have as a duo. They've got four limbs right now. Poppy Tree Stay, oh my goodness. Just got into cover. All right, a... Hey, uh, Straight on up, Paul pushing up over there on KR Esports. Will finish him off. Good move there. Frankie coming in to kind of get them out there as a decoy. Open things up for those other members to take shots and get the squad wipe. So it's straight on a Paul. GR Esports and the Panthers to decide the winner of this one. And what do we know it? It's another uh, final top three here with all community teams. I mentioned it, guys. These teams do come out to play. And we can see it here. These three teams playing with nothing but heart. Going against some tough opponents. But they are the last one standing. Who is going to be the winner, though, overall between these three
Oh, Asta just got hit hard. Poppy Triste took out Frankie, then got taken out right afterwards, straight on a Paul, doing a great job of watching their teammates' backs. Frankie get, uh, called out right away and he went down. Wolf and WDNN focused that heavily. The zone stops in the perfect spot for him to get that res off. And we should actually have a quality 3v3 to decide this one. GR Esports against Straight Outta Nepal. Yes, both teams will be able to get these revives off. WDNN, Wolf, both, or sorry, all three of them are holding, hiding behind these uh, hay bales. Those nades were nice. Oh, but Alien's nade was nicer. The double nade takes down Frankie and Wolf back to back. WDNN, the last one from this team here, who's got the vehicle, gets shot out of his vehicle. No, actually, WDNN took down Tornado. Excuse me, I switched to the wrong player. It's a 1v1 to decide this one. WDNN, great transfer. Tornado moving up. And that's actually, he's giving his teammates some cover with that. And there we go. GR Esports will grab the win there. Great fight between those two teams to decide the winner. Couldn't have asked for a better fight to finish off the evening. GR Esports putting up six limbs on their way to that first place finish. Straight out of Nepal will grab a total of eight on their way to that second place. And the Panthers will grab four. Grabbing that third place overall. Woof. That was crazy, guys. All right, let's get to it. Have a look at our stars of the match on this one. As you can see from Nemesis, it was fate with that going all out award getting four limbs. I'm surprised we didn't see a higher total in this one. I really thought there were a lot of eliminations flying around. A lot of people getting taken out, but no, nah, I guess I'm not. I guess I'm wrong. Either way, well deserved their fate. We saw him going crazy in that earlier fight against KR Esports and the other ones. Uh, Wolf OP from Straight Outta Paul gets the best companion with two revives. And Criminal from GR Esports will get that final elimination for the win. Let's go. Two community teams taking the final two wins. Love to see it. I'm all for my professional teams, the teams that came in there who qualified, you know, at that professional level, whatever we how whatever the qualification is for that. But these community teams really showing out, really showing that they deserve to be in that conversation as well, that they should not be forgotten about. So GR Esports really uh, well played there at the end. You guys were on top of your rotations there. Moving in, and uh, it really did a lot for them at the end. Able to grab the win against um, straight out of Nepal. So GG's, guys. Not a bad way to finish it. This was just day one of this lobby. You do have another one tomorrow night. I hope you guys are ready for that. It is going to be a continuation of this. These teams, are these results are not in. Basically, tomorrow night will be the, the second overall day of these survival of the fittest lobbies. The bottom four from this lobby will get knocked down to the last chance. I do believe it's the bottom four. Excuse me, bottom six from, from this one will get knocked down to the last chance with a few teams that are already there waiting. Those lobbies are going to happen Wednesday and Friday, and then the grand finals will be Saturday and Sunday. As we mentioned in chat earlier, guys, me and Red Eyes will be bringing that to you starting Wednesday night, so I hope you all are ready for it. It is absolutely going to be a lit broadcast, the first dual cast I've done in a while. Super, super excited for it. But yes, guys, that does conclude our action for tonight. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Hope you all enjoyed the coverage. Hope you enjoyed the commentary. Do me a favor and make sure you hit that like button on the video if you've not already. And of course, if you're not already subbed to the channel, go ahead and drop that sub right now. We cover nothing but PUBG mobile competitive content on this channel. Always big prizes on the line. But all right, guys, enjoy those last replays from round five. And we'll see you all tomorrow night, 7 p.m. Eastern time. Have a good one.